Matthew? Matthew, right? Yeah. Hi, hi. Well, my brother's up there in that Kentucky area. He goes to Nashville quite often now. Yeah. He's like, he was shocked. And so I, I hopefully yeah. you will meet enough bad biddies <laughs> to consummate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to you know get you through your your rough vacation. Yeah. Now, any any other plans besides meeting bad biddies? Well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm playing at a golf tournament. Oh, okay, that's a good. Problem. So. Yeah. Man, I, I tried playing golf. I get too drunk too fast. Like yeah, I, the, that's fair. The heat mixed with the alcohol. Maybe I shouldn't drink. Maybe that's the way it should be. No, I can drink more. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm not any good. It's not like I'm... It's just a buddy of mine has a like a member guest thing. He's a okay. member of country club. So he invited me out, so I'm going to go chill and uh, hang out. So it should be a good time. I like Nothing wrong with getting out of Houston every once in a while. The sad part is, is that it's going to be hotter in Nashville than it is in Houston. Though. That's not good. That's not what good are at the odds all. Of that? <laughs> 95 degrees. Only white people do shit like that. <laughs> now, I'm not going to comment. I will neither confirm nor deny. I've seen some stuff today. It's not just white people. I see some, some people doing some crazy stuff also but i would say people in their right mind yeah yeah that might be that might be a select group of people that would do that in their right mind <laughs> so yeah but either way the car is driving itself i don't know if you noticed that yeah it's chill yeah it's uh it's we still got nothing to, you know just chilling yeah i've been doing this since 10 <laughs> and uh I, I could do this all day <laughs> I really could just sit here, marvel at the technology, and tell people about Tesla. Most people that get back there, they've never experienced it before. Yeah, no, that's chill. I had, um, I think I was in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Last place I was at, I worked in IT. Okay. So I go to conferences sometimes, and uh, they were, it was robo taxis with not even a driver. Uh, you talking about the Waymos or the actual Tesla vehicles? I don't remember what it was. If it had the spinning tops, it had the yeah. radar and LiDAR on it. Yeah. yeah, those are Waymos. Those are awesome. I, I'd rather have them drive than humans. Like, I'm. Yeah. Ever since I've been doing it, I've been doing this for about three years now. And uh, this thing drives better than me. And every time, like, my wife's like, you're bougie. Because I'll be like, humans. Because I, I just don't <laughs> drive anymore. I'm like, yeah. humans. Yeah. Well, the Teslas are rad. So it's even pulling up oh, yeah. the edge for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just making sure it doesn't do anything crazy. Yeah. But like I said, I've been driving all day and this thing's been absolutely perfect. It just, I'm in awe with how it merges <laughs> yeah. and it just, it drives better than me. Like yeah. me, I would be anxious in all of that scenario yeah, right there. Looking at every car. Yeah. But this thing is so confident, it just knows because it can see everything. Yeah, yeah Elon is a crazy motherfucker. That I cannot argue either. He is he is unique to 
say the least. Well, he's, he was actually ballsy enough to put the money behind it. Exactly. This yeah. technology's probably been around for fucking 20 years. Yeah. He was the, just, most people would say it's impossible. You have to use LIDAR. You have to use radar. That's where most people would, they were like, I remember in 2020 when he introduced it to the news people, right? Like, no. you know, all the bankers and the news outlets. And they were like, you're not using LIDAR? And he's like, no. He's like, LIDAR on cars seems a little bit redundant, you know, and everybody that's driving wants a level of safety, right? And I think that's where the Waymos, they got all those spinning tops and radars and stuff. But this thing right now wants to turn right. My spidey sense is a little bit higher. All right, it seemed to have calmed down. <laughs> spidey sense. Yeah, that's all I'm doing is like, does yeah. it feel right? And if it feels right, I'm just a student. Like, this is my student driver. I'm just the driving instructor, making sure it's doing things. That's why it's getting over, because it knows it can't be over here with these two lanes. Yeah. Right? Maybe. No, I think it could have stayed over there, maybe. Either way. Uh, but yeah, the LiDAR and the radar, most people were like, you can't do it without it. And he was like, why not? And that's why that's where he deviated and nobody else is doing this with just cameras and artificial intelligence basically. Man, I just I couldn't imagine if I had a car like this and I was on a long road trip, I'd just be getting hammered. No, you definitely can't do that. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'd be just fucking partying, but like, alright. Not yet. Um It is a lifesaver, like for sure. Like it's um it's ease the burden. I don't know if you can kind of yeah. feel it. You don't like. I'll, I'll go to Scholars and Scoundrels. That's my that's my watering hole that I prefer. And I'll yeah. I'll have a lunch and and a couple of beers. And when I get in there, I'm not. I don't think I'm incapable of operating a motor vehicle. Yeah. But I'd rather just be in the back and not have to worry about it at all. And that's yeah. that's where we're headed. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly. Now imagine if you could just summon a car. I'm not in here. You yeah. can watch movies or do whatever the hell you want to do without me being you yeah. know in your bubble but it's kind of cool because you kind of are getting paid to do nothing right now i am 100 percent getting paid to do nothing <laughs> and you see the cameras i'm i'm monetized on youtube and people will watch this <laughs> yeah. i blur the passengers faces out but yeah. the conversations it's like taxi cab confessions in it <laughs> so but there most people are just amazed they're like wait a minute you're not driving and they're like no nah, you're doing something and i'm like nothing i'm doing nothing and most people like especially the tesla nerds they they get off on watching stuff like that yeah so. i actually had a buddy of mine when um when uber and lyft really started taking off this has been a minute now but i lived in portland oregon and one of them went so heavy with it that he created his own cash cap Whew. and it had the lights at the top that's and all what's stuff. up and he would only pick up people from like the downtown red light areas mm -hmm. and so he'd be like you're in the cash cabin like <laughs> you know make people answer questions it's like a bunch of drunk girls or whatever <laughs> like i don't know uh, if i'm ready for that <laughs> but that does sound dope like a uber cash cab yeah well like you don't know when it's coming you don't know like it's random yeah super you random could, everyone's calling your uber ride once. eight minutes yeah but then all of a sudden you open your door and like you're in the cash cab it's like okay well i guess this is what we're doing <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing now. <laughs> How much money are you giving away? <laughs> that sounds dope, actually. <laughs> yeah. Look at you giving me ideas. Cybertruck, that's my next vehicle. I'm going to wrap mine so it doesn't look like that. It kind of looks fingerprinted on them. Yeah, that's still dope, though. It's, it's, it's utilitarian. I want it because it has a 100-kilowatt battery. I can hook that thing up to my house with the power share and power my house for days. Yeah, if it goes down, yeah. The, um... It looks like Halo to me. Yeah, it definitely looks like a little warthog. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. I like I like the pushing of the boundary. I think it's a, a sweet little ride. I, that's it'll be my next one, unless they come out with something. You know, if they, I don't know if you're familiar with the cyber like the cyber cabs, the ones that have no steering wheel. Yeah. If they're selling those to people, I guess I'll buy two of those. But that's the next one, unless I can buy something a little different. No, the Cybertruck is rad. And it, when they're wrapped, especially. Yeah, I gotta wrap it. I, I, I'm not sure what I'll do. 
I don't know. I don't know. But I will cross that bridge when I get to it in 2027. <laughs> yeah. They might have a new one out by then. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know how much more you could do to it. No, they they pretty much cyber... I, I would get a cyber beast, right? And I, there's not a whole... I guess you could just add different subtle features like this thing updates itself overnight and it'll add stuff to it that I'm like oh that's cool it kind of makes it feel slightly brand new like especially they have a spring update and a winter update and they'll throw in like they've got these lights now on these that are synchronized with the music just think and my wife she's like they're supposed to do that and I was like but they didn't now they do so it's you know I didn't have to pay for it it's just like a free update um, the Cybertruck is pretty loaded though 48 volt architecture uh, steer by wire I'm not sure what they can add to it to, to make it even better but that's why I don't work there yeah <laughs> let them worry about no, it but it is cool I like the Cybertruck oh yeah it's gone away a little bit but especially over the last since it came out it's mm -hmm. like oh it's a Cybertruck it's oh. like one of the only cars that identify was getting that sort of yeah. thing like oh look there's one it was the vw bug type situation right when yeah, you saw one buggy. yeah you, when you saw one it was important um yeah. the only was, thing more identifiable would be like the wiener mobile i think you know yeah the cyber truck's <laughs> definitely out there the wiener mobile like if you see one you're like holy smokes yeah it's a fucking wiener mobile i'm gonna go get a weenie whistle gay but um <laughs> Um, but there's so many, like, you know, you see Bentleys around all the time. You see Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and especially in Houston. It's, it's a car city. But the one thing that sticks out is that Cybertruck. Oh, snap. We were going to my house. Glad I caught that. I think we're still on the way. We are. Because yeah. <laughs> like, I had a the setting and I'm like Uber wants me to turn left my car wants me to go straight why and uh, your your address wasn't plugged in for some reason that was weird it is now let's see if it gets over Alright ambulance, you, you do what you do. Do what you do. Alright, good. Does it let you take over intuitively? Like if you grab yeah, the wheel? Yeah, if I grab the wheel, it, like I look. Oh, already like, uh, That's yeah. e just easy as that. Yeah. So, again, I don't like driving anymore, so <laughs> I just let it why do would it. you? I mean, hell, take it to Galveston. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, anytime we're anywhere, it's like my wife, she's like, put the FSD on. I was like, you ain't got to tell me twice. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I just let it, I just let now it show you just her. just chill and watch TikTok videos. Well, eventually, right? I have to kind of pay attention. It's yeah. it's monitoring me, making sure I'm paying to the, close to the road. But it's so good. All day, I haven't done anything. They can take this dot away and be like, yeah, you're good. We got you. But Tesla's not ready to take liability just yet. They, I'm still technically responsible. Yeah, that's fair, though. When they remove that dot, though, you best believe. Yeah, but you're going to have a bunch of 11-year-olds out here fucking on the road like crazy. Let me hop in my mom's Tesla. <laughs> yeah, 100%. We're going to Six Flags. See you in San Antonio. <laughs> Buddy.
see the car would have went all the way around for some reason. Yeah. Well, it's just these last 100 feet destination arrival type situations where I have to drive. <laughs> well, sorry to make right. it work today. No worries. <laughs> let me uh, let me go and park. I'll be right here when you get out. Right. Oh, sorry. No, no worries. I'll be right back. Hi, hi. Got it going. Just like that, the car does it. <laughs> Bingo bongo. All right, boss man. That's how we live. Hi. Okay, right. Appreciate your drive safe today. You too. You have a wonderful trip. Hey, I'll try. <laughs> You're the bad beat. <laughs>